Hello and welcome to our Lupa Studio. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through creating your very first web AR experience. Let's start on the homepage of our Lupa Studio. To begin creating, simply click on the Create New Experience button. Now you need to choose the type of AR experience you want to build. For this tutorial, we'll select Markerless AR. Markerless AR allows you to place your experience directly into the real world without needing a specific marker. Next, let's choose the platform for our experience. We want to make a web AR experience, so select Web AR. This will make your AR experience accessible through a web browser, making it easy to share with anyone. You'll now see several media file options. For this tutorial, we'll use a 3D file. Scroll down to the 3D files section, where you can either upload your own model or select one from Sketchfab's extensive 3D stock library. For this tutorial, we'll choose Sketchfab. Sketchfab offers a vast collection of 3D models, making it a great resource for finding the perfect asset for your AR experience. Our Lupa Studio requires the URL of the Sketchfab model you want to use. So, let's head over to sketchfab.com to find a suitable model. Open a new browser tab and visit sketchfab.com. Browse or search for the perfect 3D model for your experience. Be sure to select a model that is free to download. For this tutorial, we'll use the sofa chair model. Once you've found your model on Sketchfab, go to the address bar at the top of your browser. Select and copy the entire URL of the Sketchfab model page. Now, switch back to your Arlupa Studio tab. Click into the Paste Sketchfab URL here field and paste the URL you just copied. Our Lupa Studio will automatically check if the URL is correct. Excellent, the URL is correct. Now click on the Next button to proceed. Our Lupa Studio is now loading the 3D editor and importing your Sketchfab model. This might take a moment depending on the model's complexity. Awesome! Your 3D model has successfully loaded into the scene and is now visible in the 3D editor. Take a moment to explore the workspace. The grid numbers represent the real-world scale of your model, helping you imagine its actual size. Use the on-screen controls to adjust the model's position within the scene. You can move, rotate, and scale it to ensure it fits perfectly within your AR experience. Once you're happy with the result, it's time to publish your web AR experience. Click on the Publish button in the top right corner. A Publish New Experience window will pop up. Give your experience a name, for example, our Lupa Web AR Tutorial. You can also add a description if you like. When you're ready, click the Publish button at the bottom right. Congratulations! Your Web AR experience is now published. You can check its status as pending in the My Experiences section. The Studio Admin will review your content, and if it complies with the guidelines, it will be approved within a few minutes. To preview or share your experience, simply click on it to open a web page displaying a QR code. Scan the QR code with your device's camera, and you'll be redirected to your browser, where you can view your AR experience in your space. Alternatively, you can copy the link to your web AR experience and open it directly in your mobile browser. If you'd like to embed it on your website, you can also copy the iframe code for easy integration. Let's see how it looks on a phone. Simply scan the QR code with your device's camera. And just like that, your 3D model appears in augmented reality, seamlessly integrated into the real world. Now, you can explore it from different angles and interact with it as if it were right in front of you. That's it for this tutorial. You've successfully created your first web AR experience with Arlupa Studio. Explore further and create amazing AR experiences. Thank you for watching.